upon us the most heinous crime against humanity and it goes so far back that you can't blame any of the administration because they are not a government they are the united states corporation the u.s government incorporated as a for-profit commercial enterprise in the Legislative Act of February 21st, 1871, 41st Congress, Session 3, Chapter 62, page 419, and chartered a federal company entitled United States, i.e. United States, a.k.a. U.S. Incorporated, a commercial agency originally designated as Washington, D.C., in accordance with the so-called 14th Amendment, which the records indicate was never ratified. The United States government is a foreign corporation with respect to the state. 19 Corpus Juris Secundum 541, location of United States. The United States is located in the District of Columbia. Secretary of the Treasury of Puerto Rico was appointed receiver over the bankrupt United States in the reorganization plan number 26 in 1950, Title V, United States Code, Section 903, Public Law 94-564. The Secretary of the Treasury of Puerto Rico Title 27, Code of Federal Regulations, Section 251.11, the title, Secretary of the Treasury, is a euphemistic abbreviation of the actual title, Secretary of the Treasury of Puerto Rico. The Internal Revenue Service was incorporated in Delaware, is not a part of the supposed U.S. government, which is but a de facto for-profit corporation masquerading as a government. It operates out of Puerto Rico. This is the IRS. It's not registered to do business in any state. Is the bookkeeping and debt collection arm of the Secretary of the Treasury of Puerto Rico. They collect for the International Monetary Fund. Everybody who gets up into the administration, the Congress, the legislation, all the way down to the local level are corporations, private companies. We are their chattel. We are their inventory. They make money off of us and you don't even know how deep it goes. And I apologize for my passion about this. But when I found this out, it was the only time that I felt hatred for the evil slime who did this to us. In 1871, when the United States became incorporated, they attached our birth certificates to a QCIP number on the stock exchange, which equals slave trade, and it's done every time a baby is born. There is a bond trust account set up and they trade us on the stock market and this is all documented and I know it's shocking some of you are hearing this for the very first time and you're thinking oh my god how could they possibly they go so far as to trick us that have you ever been to court and a judge says do you understand don't ever say you do say no your honor I do not understand that simple little word doesn't mean what you think it does. You have just given him permission, if you say, yes, I do understand, that you're going to stand under whatever he wants to lay on top of you. The courts are admiralty courts. The judges, the attorneys all belong to the Bar Association. It's still a little bit vague as to what Bar stands for, but we do know the first word is for British. Some people say accredited, some say attorney, and a registry. They do not work for us, we the people.
We, the people, are working for them. We don't need a gold standard. We are the value to the Federal Reserve note. We can give value to our United States currency. The Constitution that they're teaching today, as wonderful as it is to learn about a big portion of it, it's not the correct Constitution. It's actually a second Constitution, and that's the one that they wrote when they went incorporated. In 1933, there was the Emergency Banking Act. You've got the War Powers Act, Trading with the Enemies Act, and every year, the United States Corporation, masquerading as our supposed government, which is no more than elected officials like a CEO and the stockholders board for AT&T or Microsoft. So you're not voting for a legislation. You're not voting for a representative because each and every one of them are bonded under a United States corporation. There's 37,000 subsidiaries of that corporation. Every agency, when you look it up on down in Bradstreet, is listed as a corporation. It is a for-profit private company, and where are their inventory? I feel bad knowing that I've been enslaved all this time, and I'm sorry for the people during the civil rights, all the wonderful ones who were already in slavery, and they thought they were free. We've all been in this boat together, and people need to really wake up, and we need to hold these corporate officials feet to the fire and insist the corporation must be dissolved, the Federal Reserve must be banned from this country, and we must turn our system of judiciary back to a common law. If there's no harm, no loss, there's no crime. And everything else is a way to get you to pay. Even the court systems are hooked up to the QCIP system. When you get a case number on a, on a court document and you're being charged with something, why do you think they call it a bill or being charged? Because that's exactly what's happening. They set that cute that court number up, and it's attached to the stock exchange too. And from the moment you're arrested or charged, they start trading you on the stock market, swapping you just like they were with the derivatives and the, and the uh, default swaps on the mortgage. And that's a whole other thing. We all know that's coming out in the mainstream media. Reserve is meeting on November 2nd, the same day as elections. All I can say is wait for the sky to fall because they know their house of cards is tumbling in on top of them. And if I go do nothing but go to my grave, I will see.